Okay, now we're going to talk about preparing your product for marketing. Now, I'm not going to go over how to get traffic to it and all that, but what I am going to show you is how to set things up so that they will convert for you when you start getting traffic to them. Now, a lot of people think that all they got to do is click the promote button here, put in their affiliate nickname, get their affiliate link and promote that. No, nope, that's not what you do. Okay, well, let's get our affiliate link now that we're in here so that we can use it later. You can also put a tracking ID in here if you want, if you want to, you're going to promote from different places, but we're just going to promote from the site we're going to create. So we're going to click create here. And now here is our ClickBank affiliate ID. So let's copy that. Let's open Notepad and I'm going to paste this in here. so that I have it when I need it. Okay, now it's very important that you create your own site to promote a product on ClickBank. Okay, so what you want to do, let's go to the website here. And now what we want to do is look at the domain name, so it's the dietsolutionprogram.com. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our favorite registrar, domain registrar, and we're going to look for a similar domain name. Or you can look for a domain name that has keywords in it that are relevant to the product. Okay, I'm just a GoDaddy here. I'm going to put in diet solution. And it'll just bring up what it has here if there is match or a close match for it it'll bring it up here you see down here that all versions of this are taken you can back order them or they're not available now we have a dot biz a dot me and a dot mobi okay those aren't any good for our use so you can see if there's something else that you can use here okay so if you see any of these you want to use you can register one of those now if you don't find anything, you can go and register a domain by keyword. Just find something that makes sense for what you're promoting with a keyword in it that has something to do with the product. Okay, and then once you have a domain name, you set up your hosting account. You can host through GoDaddy. You can do it as you register, or you can host your domain with HostGator. I'm not really going to go over that but that's fairly straightforward, registering a domain and getting it hosted. What you do need to do is set up your website and we're gonna use WordPress for that. Now you can use the three click install in the cPanel to install WordPress, or there are videos that show you how to do a quick WordPress install. I'm not gonna show that here either, but what you wanna do is get your WordPress site up and we'll go from when our WordPress site is installed okay so i've done a quick wordpress install from my cpanel okay so if we were to look at our site now it's just a basic wordpress site like you see here now what we want to do is make a few quick changes here so what we're going to do is we're going to go into posts all posts and then we're going to trash what's in here I'm going to go into pages, all pages, and we're going to trash this. We're going to go to settings and discussion. We're going to turn off all the allow comments here so that we don't get anybody commenting. We don't want any comments on here. So that'll turn off all the commenting on our posts and pages. We're going to go to privacy and make sure that we're visible to the search engines. Make sure that you are. We're going to go to permalinks and we're just going to set this as post name. Okay, now we're going to go to plugins and we're going to add new. And we're going to put redirect in here search plugin and you see here quick page post redirect plugin 
That's what we want right there. So install and activate. We also want to add Headspace 2. and install. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Appearance and Themes. Now, we're going to install a theme and we're going to install Default. Now, if you want to use a custom theme, by all means, but this is the one I like to use. And it's because it's very simple and very easy to customize. So we're going to install this and activate. Okay, now what we want to do is go to custom header. And then we can go to advanced. And you want to set your colors to the same colors that are on the original site. So if we go back here, you'll see that we have these colors. So what we would do is you can use a color picker. You can get this one at allgraphicstools.com. What you do is do pick color and we'll pick an upper color. Copy this and then bring it and put it in the upper color and then we're going to go back here and we're going to pick the lower color with the same tool and we're going to paste that in here Okay, and this is basically matching their site. Now, another thing you could do is create your own header. And I would rather go this route, and this is what I do. I create my own header, and then I use that. In this tutorial, we're just going to use the standard header. I don't really like the way this turned out, so I'm going to change it. Again, I don't like the color that it came out with here. So I'm just going to go back the starting color and go from here. Paste that in there. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, now we can go over, well, let's update. Now we can go over to font color and let's change the font color because the white's not showing up so good. So you can do this by changing the color code here or picking from here. Now we could go back to here and we could get their color again using the same tool that we we're using before. We pick color like this and then here's our color here. Okay now we can't actually put the color in here so what we need to do is go back to advanced here and then you see here it says font color. Let's paste this in here. And there it is. So let's update the header. Okay, now if we go have a look. Okay, here it is here. Okay, that's not showing up so well. So you can mess around with it until you get this look in the way you want it to look. Now, the next thing you want to do is change the background color here to match their background color. You want to make the site look like their site. Okay, so their background color is here. And I think it's actually the same. I believe so, yeah. So they may be using the actually same template here. But normally what you would do is you would go and do the same thing again, pick the same tool, grab the background color here, and then copy that and then you would go and you would change the background color here. So you should be in themes. 
Now what you want to do is go to the editor and then we're in the style sheet when we first come in. So then you can look in here and it says background and this is the background color here and then there's an image. Okay, so what you would do if you just want to use a color is just change your color here and then get rid of all of this. Okay, so well, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll update. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in a new window so that I can undo this if I need to. Okay, so there is our background color now. Okay, so the idea is to get the site looking as close to the original site as you can. Now another thing I like to do is get rid of everything in the footer. So again, we'll go back to the editor. We'll go to footer. Okay, so what we're going to do is get rid of the Powered by WordPress stuff here. And this stuff right underneath it here, the RSS URL and the comments URL. So we can delete that out of there. And now we'll update. Now we're going to go over to widgets and take everything out of there. Just drag it over to the left. Now we're going to drag a text image or a text widget over there. And we'll just save that as it is there for now. Okay, now let me go back and look. Okay, well, it looks funny now because we have no content, but we've got rid of all the stuff on the side. So what we would do now is we would add a page for our home page. Okay, now what you need to do is summarize about the product. So I'm going to put summarize here. I'm not going to write a whole blurb out here, but you want to give some information about the product here. And then what you want to do is publish this. And we're going to make it our home page. So we'll go to settings, general. Actually, should should have been reading. And a static home page, like that. Okay. Okay. Now what we need to do is go to pages and add a new page. Okay. So this is going to be called the. Diet. We'll call it C the Incredible Video. Okay, and now you go down here to our quick page redirect. We want to make it active, and then we want to put in the URL that we want it to redirect to. Okay, now this is our affiliate link. So go get this. Paste it in here, and then we're going to make this, we're going to publish this. Okay, so that creates our redirect page, and I'll show you how we're going to tie all this together in a minute. We're going to finish up the setup of the site in the next video.